Hello there. Um, this is a picture of an asteroid. <laughs> an asteroid and a teeny tiny little, it looks like a beluga to me, and a, uh, a star. So it looks like this is probably a group of asteroids orbiting the star quite close. Yeah, so it's quite glowy and bright, which is quite nice actually, quite a different one. And uh, you've got these harsh shadows going on, which is rather good. I'm trying to make this rock look kind of pitted and, and gravelly. And it has kind of little these craters and lumps taken out of it as well from knocking against other asteroids, I imagine. I um, quite like the, uh, the whole close to the star stuff. There's uh, lots of different types of star. There's uh, what looks like a main sequence star, this one. You've got the KGB FOAM. And um, you've got there are giant stars and super giant stars. And you've got your weird little funny proto stars. And uh, the wolf rayettes, which are the funky colour ones. And you've got white dwarves and neutrons. Uh, and then obviously you've, you've got other bits and bobs like uh, black holes, which I would consider to be a bit or bob. Uh, yeah, and you've got you got you got some systems that will have more than one star when you jump in, so you can find yourself jumping in between two stars, which can be freaky, or even five stars, different types, different colours. This one's got a nice orangey yellow one, but yeah, there's some some pretty cool ones. You can get um, some of the the cooler stars, the uh, the brown dwarfs. You'll 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 find um, rings round as well. You can mine. Uh, in the rings. I've, I've seen um, white dwarfs and, and neutron stars when I've been travelling which have got rings, asteroid rings around them which look pretty good. But I'm not, I don't know whether I've ever seen a main sequence star with a, uh, a ring around it but somebody will probably tell me they have. Anyway, uh, you can use the rays of the neutron star to supercharge your ship which is quite useful when you're exploring them. They recently changed it and improved on the, the graphic effects. The, the change of the lighting they did that, perhaps it actually could have been best part of 18 months, two years ago nearly now, where they um, improved the lighting near the stars, so different stars will give you different effects when you're near them. They did to an extent before, but they've really improved the way that the uh, the sheen of the star kind of in, impacts on, on the background space. I mean, you, I, on this picture, you, you can't see any any stars at all, and which I imagine is like standing under a street light and trying to see the stars, I guess. When you used to play Elite, when I was little, in the olden days, uh, you, you, you wouldn't drop in at the star. You drop in at the edge of the system and have to sort of make your way towards the star, towards the habitable bodies and space stations there. And they um, they've made it so you drop in at the star now, which. Uh, using the nav beacons. We don't actually drop that close to the nav beacons. The nav beacons, of course, are these orbs with, uh, I imagine, some sort of locators in them, which makes it possible for your ship to lock on. You don't get them in systems that haven't been uh, discovered and populated. You just get them in places where there's people <laughs> or very few lines, potentially. The, um, the nav beacon, you can get piratical nav beacons as well where there's just baddies there which is quite nice you can get baddies it's quite a it's a slightly gentler than going to a hazardous resource extraction where the in the rings of a planet where you'll meet pirates but the uh, the compromised nav beacon is a little gentler i'd say than a than a hazres in terms of fighting the pirates or the the npcs will pop in at the nav beacon by the star uh, and you can sort of you can pirate them or you can um, you can bounty hunt there the, the actual non-compromised nav beacon is quite high security, so you can. Uh, it's a good place to start learning combat properly because it's pretty safe. There's normally a few police floating around just making sure everyone's safe. And if you do spot a pirate, um, you, you take a few hits and the police will probably hover near you just to make sure that um, the wrong ones get killed. I mean, I say that I'm wittering about nav beacons and actually this is clearly an asteroid belt round a star. So ignore everything I've said because it's just unnecessary nonsense. But it may be of some interest to one or... <laughs> yeah, anyway, Commander's uh, something called... Um, it appears to be called the Kitten of Terror, which is quite cute. <laughs> yeah, he did this, this screenshot. So here's that little beluga there that's popping in. There's the Commander's ship. It, I really tiny and I made it a bit bigger than it actually is in the picture but it when I when I zoomed in to see the details it was kind of fuzzy because it, it's quite a, a small ship in the picture and I, I couldn't pick out all the detail but I tried to sort of suggest it 
as best I could. Anyway, I, I mostly think this one's turned out all right. I quite like the contrast in it. That's my favourite part. The, the silhouetting, that, that sharp contrast. I think that's my favourite bit about it. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>